Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making um, another beach soap. Um, this is going to be scented with Beach House from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I made it last year and it sold out like that. Um, I have a hard time keeping any of the beach fragrances in. Um, and I ordered it again. I don't like it. <clears throat> I really, it's very perfumey. It's, um, it, it kind of gives me a headache actually, but it's a dupe of, um, I guess from Avon. I don't know if they actually call it Beach House um, for Avon, but it was really popular, so I'll make it again, but um, I don't personally care for it. But I made these shells. They're similar to ones I made for a different soap. I think I videoed a while back. And I just... Um, Underneath, these are actually like, I had some melt and pour left from another project and it was green and blue. So I just poured them both into the mold. This is my mold. I got it from Vanule. It looks like this and they're all different shells. And um, if you've never been on that site before, it's, um, if I remember, I'll leave a description or a link in the description box for it. But it's a place to get really good quality molds. And I've got a few berry molds from them, and I got the shell mold. Um, they can be kind of pricey, but what I do is I'll just check it every once in a while. And they have a, um, a little tab you can click on, and I can't even remember what it says. But it's something to the effect of, um, it's not clearance, it's like ones that maybe they in their opinion didn't come out perfect I can't see anything on this one that would be a just like um I have a blueberry one and it's got a hole like it's got a ton of blueberries but it's got a tiny hole in one of them so it's like five bucks and I think regularly they're like 20 or 30 so I'll go on there every once in a while and see what they have and so that's a really good place to go look um they don't have them very often, and when they do, they go quickly. So, um, I'm going to use these shells, but anyways, I poured them with just green and blue, so they were like really ugly. They didn't even look like a real shell. So then I just took some mica. Um, I took a satin pillow from Mad Oils. It's like a gray, a shimmery gray. And I took a, some um, a bronze from Mad Oils. I can't remember which one. Um, but you can see, I mean, they look so cool in my opinion. They're like, you can see the green, you can see some of the bronze and the blue, and I just thought they looked really cool. So these are going to go on the top, and I'm going to just use, I used this for my last um, soap I just made. This is Twilight from Mad Oils. It's a really dark, deep blue. It's really pretty. I wanted to use that again. And the same with this silver blue, or silver, silver fin blue, I think it's called, from Mad Oils. And this one's Lorne Green from Mad Oils, one of my favorite colors. So I'm going to use those three and along with white. And I think I'm just going to do a spoon swirl. I just simple spoon swirl I haven't done in a while. So let's go ahead and get started.
I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance now. So if it does rise, I can stick blend it. green. Yuck. Oh, sorry about that. All right, I'm going to put the green in the mold first, just because it's really thick. That was a mess. Um, I went ahead with a um, popsicle stick and just kind of pushed down a little bit all the way across. Um, I'm hoping I don't have a whole bunch of air bubbles. I can see a little bit. Um, I tried to pound it down the best I could. But, um... It is what it is, I guess. At least that's in the mold. And the white is still pipeable, so I think it'll be fine. It 
it's just getting to the point right now where it's almost, um, probably if I waited five more minutes, ten more minutes, this would not want to come out of this tip very well. Um, this set up so fast. I don't remember it doing it that quickly last time, but um, I don't ever want to make this fragrance again. It stinks, it's, unless someone requests it. Um, unfortunately, I still have about four ounces left. So I might have to suck it up and make one more batch, but it really is, ooh, yuck. This is tip number, for anybody who wants to know, 1M Wilton. Most of my tips are Wilton. Um, I just get them at like AC Moore, Michaels. But I'm thinking about taking a cake decorating class. Um, just for fun, just to get out of the house and go do something and maybe learn some cool stuff. So I'm going to find out when the classes are offered and see if it'll fit in with our schedule. We have volleyball starting back up again. Um, Mackenzie doesn't want to play. She's really busy with her schoolwork and stuff, and I understand. I'm just sad she doesn't want to play. She's so good. Both of them are just so good, and, um, but she's being responsible and worrying about her schoolwork, so I'm proud of her for that. I just pounded that down a little bit and now I'll go ahead and place the shells to cut this beach house soap that I made last night and I can already tell that I'm gonna have some holes in it because of um, it thickens so fast so let's see if I was able to swirl it all hmm not really, but no. Let's see, you can see some of the couple holes. I do like the colors together, they're pretty. Epic hole. Hmm. And it still smells just as nasty as it did when I made it. <laughs> I don't like this fragrance. Not even a little. Look at that huge hole. You can take, um, like if you have any little scrap pieces and kind of you know put it in and smooth it out to fill in the holes which is probably what I'll do since these are so big but that's what happens when your soap 
pretty much seizes on you. Okay, I think we've all seen enough of this mess. You guys are just lucky you don't have to smell it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Real quick, I just thought I would show you guys what I meant when I said you can kind of fill in a hole. See that big hole right there? If I just take like a piece of the scrap, I just kind of, this is a deeper one, so I just kind of tuck it in to the hole and just kind of spread it out with my finger and there you go, that looks better, you can at least um, this does have some, you can see some glycerin rivers in here too Probably because I did not soap with a water discount because I knew this fragrance um, did this. And so I did full water. So that's probably why I get the glycerin rivers. But then, like on this bar, I don't know if you can see in the blue, there's a couple holes across the top. I'll just take it and kind of rub it across. I don't really bother with these ones that are smaller like this but I'm just doing it so I can show you. Just kind of run it over and then smooth it out. It just makes it look a little bit better. Okay, thanks for watching.